still on day two of our field trip out to the southwest United States. This afternoon, we're gonna see really terrific dinosaur fossil sites. We're headed to a place called Fossil Trace right now, sometimes called Triceratops Trail. And this afternoon, we're gonna be heading over to Red Rocks, look at the uh, Pennsylvania contact with the Precambrian rocks. And then we'll be heading to a place called Dinosaur Ridge, which is another really, really great fossil site. So lots of cool stuff to see this afternoon. And then into the Western Interior Seaway. It came from both up in Canada and from the, the Gulf of Mexico and completely covered the entire center of the United States. Then the sea retreated and the beaches came back. either a very large duckbill or a Tyrannosaurus. There's a group out here called Friends of Dinosaur Ridge, and we raise money to try to preserve sites like this and, and build things like this to, to protect them. I'm kind of fond of, it's hard to see. There's a little sign that says beetle tracks right there, and there's another trackway right above it. All right, so that was Fossil Trace or Triceratops Trail um, at the Fossil Trace Golf Course. And lots of great late Cretaceous fossils there. Uh, all trace fossils, of course, footprints and leaf impressions and stuff like that. Uh, great site. Right now we're gonna head off to our next site, which we'll look at uh, Red Rocks Amphitheater. And then from there, head to Dinosaur Ridge. about this place just how incredibly easy it is to see the visible layers of these red sandstones tilted upward and all over the place everywhere you look see the massive uplift that occurred when the Rocky Mountains pushed all these layers upward and folded them upward like this. That's Dinosaur Ridge, that's where we're headed next. 
All right, so we've made it over to Dinosaur Ridge. We're beginning the hike up. We're in the Morrison Formation, starting off Jurassic Age. Lots of dinosaurs famous for the, from the Morrison Formation. And then we'll get up over the ridge and get into the Dakota Sandstone, which is Cretaceous. Not just any bone, but a bone sticking out of the rock that stood that high. It was an Apatosaurus bone. And what they found was the first dinosaur bones ever found in the Jurassic. Here on the east side of Dinosaur Ridge, now you're looking at the tops of the bedding plain layers, and we are in the Cretaceous Dakota Sandstone now. This is an early Cretaceous unit of uh, sandy material. Here you can see some really fantastic ripple marks on the bedding plain surface of these sandstone rocks all throughout here. The next stop we're gonna see on up ahead is a fantastic track site with lots and lots of footprints in it. It's really spectacular. Let's go take a look. All right, so like I said, this is one of my favorite sites here at Dinosaur Ridge, and this track site is really fantastic. This is um, the hind leg here of the adult. This is like an ornithopod, which is kind of like a duck-billed kind of dinosaur. That's the back leg. You can see how big it is. And this right here, this is the front leg. And so they, they walked on all fours. And there's another track here. Front leg is up there back leg there, another one here, there's the back leg again, there's the front leg, keeps going up, back leg, front leg, back leg, front leg, and there's another back leg there, and it just keeps going up all the way, and it looks like a single individual uh, walking along sort of a beachfront kind of area, and next to it, which is really exciting, is a much smaller version of the hind leg. And so that is probably a juvenile. And there's another one there. And they keep going up. There's another one here. And these are much smaller than the big ones from the adults over there. And so um, it's hard to know exactly if these were in, in for sure traveling together. But I certainly like to think they were. The, the simplest explanation is that we had like a mom and a baby or a juvenile of some age uh, traveling together, walking through the sand uh, along the beachfront back in the Cretaceous. Now, the other thing you can also see here is this track. And uh, this is uh, another three-toed dinosaur, but this is a theropod. Uh, this is a meat eater. This is a carnivore. And there's another one there, there's another one there, and so on. And so carnivores also roaming the area, probably on the hunt for these different kinds of, of, of ornithopods that were present in this environment. So really great site, incredible site. So come on out to Dinosaur Ridge if you're ever in the uh, Denver area. So that wraps up day two of our Southwest trip. And tonight we head south to Colorado Springs we're gonna basically get there, get some dinner, get in the hotel, and tomorrow morning we'll get up and we'll head to Garden of the Gods and some other great sites down in that area. So that'll be in the next video. Until then, so long.